unboxing videos are kind of popular and I've done a few of them myself but this one should be a little bit more interesting to me anyway than uh, most of them and the reason is because this is a package from IMA International Military Antiques and it is a 175 plus year old musket and uh, the bayonet that goes with it. And the reason it's so interesting to open this is because you know I mean it's guaranteed guaranteed to be in uh, poor condition because it spent 140 years or more in some fort in Nepal but uh, it could be anywhere from a complete wall hanger that uh, could not be rebuilt with any of the original parts all the way up to ugly but shootable after just a rudimentary cleaning and lubing and uh, I hope it's going to lean more in the latter direction but we won't know until we open it and look at it so let's proceed to do that. Let me see what we got here. So it looks like the box, just like the muzzle loader inside it, is loaded from the end. So it's well packaged though. Now the butt plate on for this is going to be a reproduction, I believe butt plate and our patch box or actually I think at least the patch box and maybe the butt plate as well because um, what a mess because the uh, the originals were at some point scavenged out of the fort that this, these things were stored in and uh, scavenged for scrap so they were brass and if it's brass brings more money than the rest of the thing uh, this I think will be the bayonet yeah so the bayonet was individually packaged and we'll go ahead and open it first never know it might be in great condition now these muskets it's a Brunswick model 1841 pattern 1841 oh yeah yeah, the bayonet looks good. Alright, so it's got a brass or bronze handle. And it's a sword type bayonet. And sure enough, it looks to be in very good condition for its age especially. 
so that's pretty cool. It almost has an actual edge on it. It's a little bit bent at the tip, but not badly. Okay. Now I will clean that up, and uh, that'll be pretty cool, I think. I saw a video of one of these where somebody uh, cleaned it up to the point of uh, completely disassembled it, including removing the breech plug, and uh, then sanded down the stock using the power sander, and refinished it and sandblasted all the metal parts and polished them, made them all shiny and everything and basically made it look like a new reproduction. I did not like it. I couldn't even watch to the end of that video because that does not appeal to me. I don't understand why somebody would want to remove 175 plus years of patina. I'd rather make it look like, uh, you know, <laughs> look very close to what it, how it came out of the uh, out of the box, but just make it so it's shootable. Kind of a rat rod musket. You might say, well, it's all together, you know, it's not a, it's not in pieces or anything. So, these are 70 caliber, by the way, which is uh, just slightly smaller than a 12 gauge. Okay, a little bit more knife action. Thought about using the bayonet to open it, but uh, it's easier to use this old timer. That's a US made old timer. Oh, 6 OT by the way. Okay. Uh-oh. Hmm. The reason I say uh-oh is it doesn't have a lock. So I'm going to have to go through the uh, packaging and find the lock if it's in there and if it's not then I'll have to contact IMA and uh, ask them what happened to the lock and interestingly okay it doesn't have a butt plate but it's not cut for a patch box so this this one didn't have a, a patch box that's fine, you know, I don't have a problem with that at all. Stock is broken a little bit right there. It does have the trigger. Trigger assembly. Which works the way it should. Okay. Barrel doesn't look to be too bad. All right, so let's lay this down here. And kind of dig through. It's missing the butt plate, but it should have a butt plate in the packaging somewhere. And it's missing the lock, but there should be a lock somewhere. So here's what we're gonna do. Actually, I'm going to go get a bag to dump this, these peanuts into. 
Okay, so I dug around in there and came up with a couple of items. Separately wrapped. And here's one of them. This is the butt plate. That's good. It, uh, it's supposed to be a reproduction butt plate, according to what I've read about these. But uh, it's not shiny brass. It has a, a pretty nice patina, so it'll fit in well with the rest of the musket. So there's the butt plate, and here is the lock and the screw that holds it to the to the stock. Now, interestingly, and yeah, I think that uh, what I said about uh, the potential for uh, potential for it to be uh, just kind of give it a rudimentary cleaning and then be able to fire it. That might be the case here because that lock does not look to be in bad condition at all. And uh, looks like it'll be pretty easy to clean. Spray it with some WD-40 and then oil it. And uh, that'll be pretty cool. But I'm not 100% sure about this, but you know, the fact that it doesn't have a patch box and the fact that this is a back action lock and the musket, you know, that you can tell by the the way that it's um, inlaid, that is the correct lock for this musket. And... Uh, might not be the one that it came with originally, but it's the right one. And the reason I say that is because this lock has uh, the little brass piece that's inset into the other side of the stock, but the stock also already has one in it. So that's interesting. It's got the ramrod, which appears to be straight. But anyway, so the thing about it is what I'm kind of leaning towards is that this is not a pattern 1841. I think maybe this is the earlier one. The pattern, uh, pattern 1837 because unless I'm mistaken, the, uh, the pattern 41 had a side action lock. Yeah, this is a back action lock which the pattern 37 had and also I think the pattern 41 1841 had a patch box and this one does not this one never had a patch box so this might be the earlier musket either way it's all good and uh, I'm reasonably impressed by the condition of it. I think it's not going to take very much trouble at all to uh, make it where I can test fire it. So, stay tuned. We're going to clean it up just a little bit. And I think I might, at least to start with, 
I might leave a lot of the the oh uh, dirt and everything on it maybe just wipe it down with a dry towel or something so that anything that's going to come off that way will go ahead and come off but have it uh, continue to look old like this <laughs> that'll be a good thing to uh, like if I go to a public shooting range and there are a bunch of people there if I pull this out and start loading it up it might just uh, cause people to want to go ahead and leave but anyway stay tuned for more thanks for watching